When you hear Satan knocking, you don't open the fucking door and let him in. Is that what America did in your eyes? That's exactly what they did. Me and mine, we just go to the peephole and we just turn away. I mean, fuck, we hear the devil breathing. We jump out the fucking window like Captain America. Don't you think that Americans had a legitimate desire for change and that pushing an unusual candidate was the right way to go? Tell that to Minnesota and California. Tell me that every time they elect a former actor, former wrestler, or any one of those goofy bastards that come about and say, we are a failed nation and we need change. Yeah, you have the capacity to make change, all right. You have the capacity to make things fucking worse. So is that why you did what you did on election night? I did what I did on election night because I was angry and defending myself like any sane human being would do. Do you not feel that your way of thinking is only replicating what the other side is doing? Well, do unto others. How did you feel on election night, 2008? Can we talk about something else? Why? Because I feel like I'm about to be condescended like I'm a child. Why is that? Because you're doing it right now. Truthfully, Charles, I just really want to know what's going through your mind in 2008 on election night. Pure joy. And why is that? Isn't it obvious? This wasn't simply a race of just goals and ideals. It's a race that showed us that we as a people literally can't be anything we wanted to be. I mean, to, to, to look at the TV, to see someone that looks like you becoming the most powerful, the most important man in the world. There's no feeling quite like that. To see someone that you believed in winning the Oval Office. I didn't just vote for him because he was black. I voted for him because I wanted a better world. I wanted a better life. I feel like he's helped out on that tremendously. But don't you think that there were some disappointments in President Obama's eight years in office and a load of unfulfilled promises? Only babies would look at the goals he didn't hit and only the goals he didn't hit. Only babies would ignore all the good that he's done in that time span. Or people who watch Fox News. <sighs> like I said, babies. It's like people forgot what the country was like under Bush's regime. I mean, fuck my life. I mean, we lost so many young American lives with this stupid ass war. And for what? Because a greedy piece of shit wanted oil? And then, and then we had one of the hardest economic recessions, I mean, since the Great Depression. And then, I mean, or, 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 or did people always feel they had a steady job? I mean, the banks stole your money, and then the very same banks got bailed out to having nothing to show for it on your end. I mean, that's sickening. Absolutely sickening. And then you lose your job, and it's a war. It's an absolute war that, 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 you, that you fight to try to get another one. I mean, the recession in politics was like the disease that started the zombie apocalypse. And we, the people were just like torn up corpses that just spread all around the world. You know, and, and, and then yet, all these fucking people are like, oh, he wasn't my president. He didn't do all the things that he said he was going to do. And those same people, the same ones, that don't forget to do that one job a year, go ahead and vote. The Senate means dick. Ignorance isn't bliss. Ignorance is a fucking atom bomb. Do you not think that his administration has left the country more divided than ever. His administration? 
Oh, please. His policies were exactly what racist white America would have wanted. And we would still have raving psychotics running around here. I mean, you have these people going to schools, shooting up everybody, and, and targeting little children. You know, you, 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 you've got the, the cops going after black men in hoodies and gunning them down. Assuming that they're all thugs, right? But they're just fucking cold. If cops choking us out, gunning us down, targeting us, murdering us, and, and for what? Simply because of the color of our skin. You know, it always confused me when the young people that I know in, in school you know, ask me, well, why do they make films like Selma? Do you think that we're still going through those times? We never stopped. Now, you yeah, have this clown as president. Clown isn't even a good way to explain it. Antichrist is what like. And yet people find this so funny. <laughs> this is all a game to them. This is just 365 episode reality TV show. Fuck, I hate reality TV. It's just high stream garbage for the unintelligent masses. What about Hillary? What about her? What about all the lying and the corruption that she has been involved with throughout her entire political career? How can you blame people for not wanting that in the Oval Office? Well, I can't really say that I do blame them for that. I mean, I voted for Bernie Sanders in the primaries. I mean, we had the solution right in our fucking faces. But did you vote for him? No. You voted for Hillary. And then when the general election came, you said, fuck that emails, bitch. I mean, we ignored Santa Claus and went straight for Lucifer. Don't you think Lucifer is taking it a little bit too far? When you think me grabbing you by the pussy is taking it too far? Excuse me, Charles. That was not funny. Am I laughing? What I just said is disgusting. And yet the same man that said it has been elected to office. And yet so many women voted for him too. And I guess that says a lot about Hillary. But it also says a lot about the people too. You know what I find funny, Doctor? What's that? Those internet memes saying that Trump is a joker and Hillary is Two-Face. I find it funny on how accurate they are. But you know what I also find so interesting about those analogies? What? The fact that Two-Face can eventually be reformed to become Harvey Dent again. I mean, it's been many a sad story where he can't come back. But in the whole Batman series, he's the only villain that could be reformed and become the honest D.A. Harvey Dent again. But the Joker, he's not damaged. He's not tormented. There's, there's no chance for redemption. He's just pure evil. I mean, he's, he's a psychotic, maniacal monster. And he, he doesn't do things out of anger or fury. He does things just for the pure joy of it. Just to watch the world burn because he just has nothing else better to do. I mean, do you realize what this election has taught people? This election has taught people that you can lie, cheat, steal, insult, intimidate, rape, even destroy to get what you want. This is just a pure
pure disaster. And the fact that people can't see that, it's just disgusting. But we have the ability to overcome this. Oh, really? Yes. Look at all of the terrible moments that we have overcome. Slavery, the Civil War, the Great Depression, Katrina, Sandy Hook, Columbine. We overcame Reagan, both Bushes, in 9-11. Who's to say that we can't overcome this? 9-11? You think we overcame 9-11? Of course we did. We're still here. 9-11, the day that brought us all together for, what, two seconds? How can you think that? How can I not? The day after the election, I saw a political video called The Terrorists Have Won. How right they were. I mean, look at us. Look at how divided we are. They wanted this 15 years ago for us to fear and hate each other. I mean, we suspect each other of foul play every chance we get. We look down on an entire religion like Islam because of actions of a few. Hypocritically ignoring the fact that Christians have done tons of heinous acts under Christianity. I mean, I'm a Christian myself. But I'm not blind. I mean, what do they do? They, they, they call blacks thugs. They call Mexicans aliens. And yet, how was this country founded again? Oh yeah, that's right. It was taken. They kill each other at alarming rates, and they call us animals. They complain about immigrants taking their jobs, but yet they do feel that they're either too entitled or just fucking lazy to even take those jobs. I mean, what about you? Would, would you take a job that would have you going from store to store late nights just to clean it? So, so fuck off, right? The fact that this is all coming from a man who ships his jobs to fucking China makes it even more hilarious. I guarantee more jobs. Yeah, for other fucking countries. You know, we as, 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 as Americans, we complain about terrorism every chance we can get. And yet, we have terrorist acts happening here all the time, but we don't call them that. Sandy Hook, Colorado, those are as terrorist as terrorism gets. And yet, we need to build the wall to keep away from others? Okay. And then I should go back to Africa. Go back to Africa, nigga! Okay, Cracker. Buy my ticket. Because it's you that brought us over here anyway. Let's talk about the incident that led to your arrest, Charles. That led you to my door. I'm sure you've seen it all in your file. A file doesn't tell me what's in your head. You do. Everything that I've seen tells me that you are a bright, intelligent, if not profane, young man, not a violent one. So tell me what happened in your eyes. Okay, here we go then. I can't believe that frog looking oompa loompa colored brick is president. Yes, I know, but. We're gonna turn all around like we always do. Now back to more pressing matters like Tanya. Sis, I'm not going out with your friend. But why? I mean, she's perfect for you. She's smart, she's funny, she's actually your type. So, I was here the problem. <sighs> well, speak up, man. She's a Cowboys fan. <laughs> You're kidding me. No, I'm not. No. You have to be kidding me, what is that shit? 
I don't even understand how you can be friends with the Cowboys. I mean, we were raised strictly Giants fans, damn it. Look, I don't let my sports fandom drive my choices in friends. Well, I let it drive my choices in girlfriends, damn it. I, I can't spend the rest of my life with someone who doesn't know that Tony Romo sucks donkey dick. That Jason Garrett is like a prison bitch. And that Jerry Jones is a coked up and less functional version of Vince McMahon. And that's saying something. I can't trust that type of mindset with, with my kids. Nope. No way. Sorry. Would you consider a Jets fan? Do you know me? I guess not. Sorry, man, my bad. Yeah, you better be, nigger. Excuse me? You heard me, monkey. What the fuck are you calling monkey? Come on, Charles, let's go. No, 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 let's not. What the fuck is your problem? You and your piece of shit hold on this country. You motherfuckers think you can do anything and everything without having to face any consequences. You think you get a free ride and work for nothing? Not anymore. Eight years of hell is almost over with the now. Now we're going back to the way things are supposed to be. <laughs> oh, please. You're still going to be the same ignorant loser with Trump in office as you were with Obama in office. The only difference is now, you're finally going to realize the whole entire problem has been looking at you in the fucking mirror. Oh, yeah, Charles, why don't you listen to your whore and leave my country while you still can? What did you say? You heard me, nigger. This country isn't yours to breathe in anymore, so I'd leave now before I hang your bitch from a tree. How would you feel if someone threatened your blood right in front of you? That, that they'd had the confidence and the audacity to be so evil, so cruel, that they felt that they had the God-given right to tell you that you're lesser than, and that they're going to kill your sister. I mean, what, what are you going to say? Like, what, uh, Obama is the reason why our country is so divided? It's bullshit, right? Trump gave that man the confidence. Trump told that man it's okay for what he fucking said because he was just fucking speaking his mind. Didn't matter how fucking evil or how cruel he was being. As long as he was being true to thine self, it was okay. I mean, what, what did we tell our kids this election? I mean, really, think about that. We told them to fuck gays, fuck black people, fuck Muslims, and fuck women. I mean, all of us can burn in hell in 2016 because at the end of the day, the only real person that fucking matters is the white man. I mean, how are the rest of us supposed to explain this to our kids? I mean, how, how are we going to explain that America elected a misogynistic, egotistical, discriminatory, idiotic asshole as a leader of the free fucking world? I mean, right now, we're making a mockery of ourselves. Do you realize that? I know for fact Russia is laughing at us. I definitely, definitely see Putin right now just taking his thing out. He's getting it all cleaned up, ready to go. Because he knows he finally has a U.S. president willing and ready to fucking suck his silken dick. <laughs> you realize that we just... Hey, 
And you know what's really crazy? Is that, you know, even if he doesn't do all the crazy shit that he mentioned, like destroy healthcare or build the wall, even if it was all smoke and mirrors just to get a light, he shined a light on psychos and allowed them to stand up and walk through that door. Now it's, I'm gonna have a hard time being able to close that door. What do you fear most, Charles? What keeps you from thinking that things can't get any better? That things won't be so severe? All of it. I fear all of it. I walk past poor people sleeping outside. And I fear that that number will triple. Afraid of the war? I'm afraid that the worst of the worst is going to come blast through that door just to spread terror and fear to anyone that's different. afraid of losing my rights. I'm afraid of this maniac taking office and the fact that Congress is probably going to do nothing but sit on their ass like they've done before. I'm afraid that one day a black man will be killed. Right there, down the street.
and there would be no cry for justice. No outrage, because we would have reverted back to a time we are just so numb. And we don't have the energy to fight, to live, to care. I'm afraid of losing my sister. I'm afraid of losing my mother. I'm afraid of losing my father. I'm afraid of losing my friends. I mean, on the night of the election, my mother could barely sleep a week. She couldn't fathom how long we got with this. How we let this happen. How we didn't go out and vote. How we convinced ourselves that our voices didn't matter. We failed our nation. We failed our children. Most importantly, we failed ourselves. And in this time, I'm ashamed to be an American. Time's up. Yeah. Maybe it is. Thanks, Doctor. See you later. I'm so sorry, Layla. I really am. They can't win, Charles. They won't win. We won't let them. The dream is dead. That's what I believed on that night. I thought that this country stood for more than misogyny, racism, and hate. I thought it stood for hope. 
belief and love. But on that night, I lost all my hope and all my belief. There must be more than this. There had to be more than this. And then I saw it. I saw people, citizens, Americans, stand up. I saw them unite. I saw them put their foot down and declare that they will not turn their back as a man attempts to destroy everything they love and everything they believe in. They will not stand for the garbage of this country having a louder voice, and they will not stand for the greatest country on this planet becoming the absolute disgrace that they are working so hard to turn it into. Maybe it will fall on deaf ears. Maybe the greedy and disgusting will revert this country completely back into the unlivable disaster zone that it was for so many people. But on this day, the good people in this country let it be known that they will not allow it without a fight. And they fear not the greed and might that stands before them. We are ready, Mr. President. We are willing. And we are watching.